Hi my friends, hope you're having a great week. I want to talk to you this week about being abundant and how to live abundantly. This past week I had the great opportunity to be at an event called Diva Date Nights and we were talking about being abundant and how to live abundantly. And I have another lecture coming up this week and both nights were sold out so I was super pumped about that. It was pretty awesome. And I wanted to share some of the take homes and some of the tidbits about being abundant and living abundantly. When you're in a place that you're living abundantly and you're being abundant, you're in this absolute place of trust in that you know that the universe is always going to provide for you. It always has things for you to foster your evolution and your growth. And you're never in this scarcity complex. You're not hoarding your stuff, protecting it from others, afraid that you know if, if you don't take it, somebody else will and there won't be enough left for you. Today I spent the day volunteering my time. I'm a board member of a foundation called Paper Kite Foundation and we had a day called Healing Day. And I spent several hours today of my time seeing different people, donating my time and all the money we raised to our organization. And we're a Canadian non-profit organization and we support orphans in a completely different land, in India. And a lot of these children, by the time they're 13 years old, would end up on the streets. A lot of the young girls would end up, unfortunately, in the sex trade if we didn't have our work. So our work is very profound and I spend X amount of time every single week. I spend hours working as a board member and finding different ways to raise funds and move the organization forward. The reason why I'm sharing this with you is because when you live abundantly, you're being abundant, what you actually do is you give way more. Because when you give way more, you understand that there's so much abundance out there and there's a natural law called a law of reciprocity. And the law of reciprocity says that you cannot put out there and not receive in return in exponential amounts. So the, the conundrum of life is that when we're not living abundantly, we hoard all our stuff and hold it to ourselves and we don't give of ourselves, we don't give of our hearts. And as a result of that, we're not in a place of receiving, we're not in a place of allowance. So if you're having a hard time with this, one of the things that I invite you to do is, is just to start giving more give more of your time, more of your energy, more of your money, more of your resources, just to really serve other people to improve their lives. And with a natural law of reciprocity, which I won't get into the science, what will begin to happen is all of a sudden the energy that you're putting out will begin to be brought back to you. And when it's brought back to you, it's leading to more happiness, more joy, more fulfillment from within. If we're constantly doing things with the attachment that we'll get something back in return, we're actually living in a place of poverty and we're bankrupt emotionally, we're bankrupt when we talk about our connection to the universe. But when we give, we know the universe is abundant. So we don't have to worry about things running out. We don't have to worry about losing our time or losing our energy because we know that that's just a limitation of our finite minds. And stepping into that place of abundance, we can keep doing more and tap into our infinite self. So please try to be more abundant. And the first step in that is to give more of yourself, whatever that is, in any shape or form. It might be time, it might be money, it might be energy, it might be resources, whatever it is. It could be helping somebody cross the street. It might be walking up to somebody and giving them a compliment. It doesn't have to be hard, it can be that simple. So please give it a try, and I'd love to know how it goes for you. And the key to life is really, when you're being abundant, you're actually behaving and acting abundantly, and the result is you're serving other peoples to improve their lives. And imagine what the world would be like if we all did that, if we all went out there and tried to improve the lives of other people by giving, we're in a place of service, this world will be a pretty sweet and pretty awesome place. So, lots of love to you my friends, and we'll chat soon. Have a great week.
Namor